People move, people meet. In science, researchers all over the world are traveling and working together. Since 2014, the European Commission has been funding the RISE program to enable researcher mobility. As a project officer, I like to meet the researchers behind our projects and learn about their experience. My name is David Knittel and I work for Unternehmensberatung Rudolf Exel in Austria. I'm a software engineer. My name is Monika Richterikova. Uh, I'm from KU Leuven. I'm Guido de Boon. I work at Lasersport. I'm Miguel Dans. I'm engineering manager at Tenico. My name is Claire Scanfelberry. I'm the director general of the Nanotechnology Industries Association. The Research and Innovation Staff Exchange Programme is part of a family of Mari Skwodowska Curie Actions. Today, I am meeting researchers behind the RISE project EVE at Teneco. In the project EVE, our company Teneco was hosting universities and industrial partners to here to work on advanced systems, control systems and uh, chassis systems. Different cultures are looking at the uh, same problem in a different way and that makes it very interesting and inspiring for us. Uh, the RISE project is an ideal bridge between university and uh, industrial partners. It's very important for a company like Teneco to learn more about new control systems and new technologies. It's an open invitation for uh, researchers at the university to come to, uh, to have an industrial case, but also for researchers at the company to learn about new techniques. We sent people to South Africa and Spain, also to Germany. We went there for a longer time. We had some researchers from South Africa here visiting us and we gave them an industrial problem. They are looking at it in a very different way than what we did and they contacted the Faculty of Mathematics to solve a mathematical formulation of this problem. And finally it resulted in uh, one of the graduated PhD students applied here for a job and he got it. I definitely would recommend other companies to participate in RISE. It's a unique opportunity to bridge the gap between industry and academia. It's also open to all countries and all different nationalities. From the commercial perspective, the result of the collaboration uh, with the universities in the RISE project was we tested new advanced functions and integrated chassis control functions. We tested it on the vehicle, like this one, and it finally resulted in a patent. Uh, what was very important for the automotive industry, cars to be more safer, more comfortable and fun to drive. Not only big corporations participate in RISE, but also small and medium enterprises. My next meeting is with Guido at Lasersport. The main activity of Lasersport is to develop, market and sell uh, innovative bicycle helmets. Smart Helmet is about developing systems and gaining insight to create bicycle helmets with improved thermal comfort for cyclists. We host researchers with a biomechanical background from the University of Strasbourg in France. Within the secondment you do see that within different countries you also have different methods of working and different ways of working. I performed secondments at the University of Strasbourg in France and at the University of Porto in Portugal. The RISE project is a project that focuses on collaboration. It allows you to, to understand other countries and cultures. Well, if you don't know each other, you, it's very difficult and very hard to collaborate as well. So you need to know each other, you need, you need to understand each other in order to collaborate. For a company like Laser, it is important to have access to knowledge. Thanks to RISE, you are connected to a much broader field of expertise. That helps us to design better helmets uh, in the future. I would recommend RISE for companies with a clear vision on innovation. I'm on the move again, this time to a university setting. Now we are at the University of Leuven 
to meet with Monica and David, collaborating on the RISE project, Papa Build. And we are in uh, our Anechoic room. It means a uh, situation like if there were no walls here. And what is very special is that it's very silent. And that allows us to perform very high quality listening tests. Our project uh, is called Papa Built. <laughs> so it's uh, actually uh, related to uh, psychoacoustic and physical acoustics properties in buildings. Noise is a big issue because it's an invisible part of our environment. Architects don't have it immediately in their drawings. So people work with visual aspects much more than with auditive. But on the other hand, sound is influencing our life. It has a very direct connection to our emotions, to our feelings. So we like to improve uh, sound isolation so that uh, people could live in their houses comfortably and they could create their own soundscape. <laughs> so we have found uh, RISE uh, as a European funding uh, where you can freely choose a topic. The RISE give chance uh, not only to early stage researchers but also to experienced researchers to perform segments. For the biggest success in the project, uh, I, I consider the very tight friendship which was created between the people through doing science together. You will never uh, reach it just by one conference and meeting people for one evening for a beer, but the second that people, they, uh, they, they travel and they spend some time and uh, that allows you also to um, make some friendships. I was here in Leuven for six weeks last year. I'm here in this research environment at KU Leuven. It was great to see this room, for example, see the test stand, see actually what does those numbers mean. It was a great insight and I think that helps me a lot to gain another point of view on what I'm doing. I learned a lot about how to perform these tests because previously I was always told just that's how it's done and that's how I should implement it in software. But here, when I came here, I saw it in real life. I heard the difference that it makes. And I can use that knowledge, of course, now when I come back to Vienna to help our customers. I would recommend it to every private company who can gain from it because uh, traveling abroad, gaining knowledge there and having to be pra pragmatic, having the travel costs paid, paid for, it's a great opportunity. You can only gain from it. Another key type of organization that benefits from RISE are professional associations. I'm curious about Claire's experience with the RISE project NanoGen Tools. Our mission is to support the commercial development of nanomaterials safely to market. The NanoGentles project addresses all of the challenges that nanomaterials face in reaching the market successfully. It brings together researchers and industry to understand how you safely develop a material and what actions need to be taken at the earliest possible point to ensure that you have a successful product at the end of the process. As an industry partner in the project, we've been seconded to our academic partners. Our role in this economy is to share knowledge. So we move information from industry into academia, from academia into industry, and engage policymakers and regulators in the challenges and opportunities that each partner has. At the end of the day, it's all about the citizens, whether they're using new products, accessing new technologies, nanomaterials plays a huge role in all of those. So it's really important that they're safe and the wider society understands that they are safe. One of the good news stories that came out of the project directly was a colleague of ours who was coming to the end of her contract with us, who got great experience while she was on secondment in Spain and was subsequently offered a job there. It's a real boost to her career to bring her industry knowledge into an academic setting and hopefully we can transfer the benefits across different sectors. I think RISE funding can be used to enhance national funding that you already have in place for research where you want to find specific answers or work across sectors or organisation types. Personal development. Friendship. 
Mobility. Discovering. Unifying.